Good day everyone, it's Nick here, we're on the Zelic Spectrum and we might be heading for a kingdom of woe here. Uh, this game is called Don't Buy This, uh, recommended to me quite some time ago to play, uh, otherwise known as five of the worst games ever, which doesn't bode well, published by Firebird Software in 1985. Now it actually um, includes five mini games and this first one is Race Ace, look at the graphics. Enter the speed from 1 to 250, we'll go for 10 to try and make it easy. Now we must guide this blue car at the back to the lead over three laps. As soon as we get into the lead, the race ends. If we bump into any of the other cars, uh, that's it. So away we go. Yes, I should have put it on quicker. This is gonna take a while. So hopefully this is just being ironic and these games end up being brilliant. Um, yeah, five games remember. I don't know if this is gonna be the best one. I hope not. Um, it originally came out for £2.50, then re-released for £1.99. It still might be a bit overpriced, so two fifty. that was 50 pence a game. Race Ace, this is the power of Formula One. I don't know if we're gonna get past these people. So it's literally two buttons, left and right. Oh, up we go, you can turn, oops, I've crashed, you can turn on a sixpence, what's going on here? Um, I mean, I'm, yeah, I seem to be going around in circles here. It takes the bend really tight, good work. Mm, feel free to make your own engine noises here if you must. Uh, so we're on lap one or three to get into the lead, and we're currently at the back. Five of the worst games ever. Did you have this game? Let me know. So it's five games in one, so this review might end up being a little bit longer than usual. Um, I did debate maybe splitting it into two parts, but you know, we might as well keep all the woe in one place, so if you want to avoid it, it's easier to do so. So if you stay with me for the whole of this review, then well done you. According to the makers, we're about to see five of the worst games ever as we go past lap one. I thought the uh, lap counter wasn't going to go down there. I think we can break into this as well. So each time we're going to have to reset the computer to load the next one. But rest assured, we will edit down the load times. So the games on this are Race Ace, then Fido, Weasel Willy, then Fido 2, Puppy Power for extra excitement. Then we end with a fruit machine. Yeah. Though they didn't release any of these games individually, I don't think. If they did, well, shame on you. Firebird software in 1985. If you had this back in the day, let me know. And um, was it your only game? If so, um, many hours of fun. Would you like to do a full Grand Prix on this? About 100 laps? Now, the minimum amount of laps you can do is free. This is on speed 10 out of 250. Um, I'm even finding that difficult. No options to edit the track. Not based on any track at all. Very square. 1985. Yeah, it's even rubbish for 1985. But Firebird Software knew what they were doing. Um, they was going to appeal. They couldn't have sold any of these games normally, but by calling it "Don't Buy This," it's sort of like reverse psychology. And some people would have gone into a shop, seen that, and bought it anyway. Don't tell me what to do. Or bought it for a friend as a laugh. And in the end of the day, Firebird Software probably would have sold a lot more copies than this than it really deserved. So I'm not sure how much money they made. Oh, nice checker flag there to represent the last lap. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? No. Don't worry though, because we've got a top game coming up next called Fido, where I think you control a dog doing something. Um, hopefully it doesn't involve us following it around with a bag cleaning up its mess. But it might be just as fun. Check out the speed of this thing. We're zipping along at superpower. So at the moment we've overtaken no one. We haven't found a gap through it. I don't know how you overtake this mob. Look, it's like, um, it's just solid traffic all the way around. Down, 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 down. You can brake if you want. Um, we're already going slow enough, so we won't do that. Maybe you can brake to stop to let cars go through. Maybe that's the secret. I'm just trying to weave through. We've passed two cars. Coming up to the finishing straight, we're not going to win. Um, yes. Do you like this game? Is it the best Formula 1 game you've ever seen in your whole life? Let me know. I think you probably could end up typing this in. Race Ace if you want to track it down, or 
uh, get the whole compilation, don't buy this. And I don't think I would have done. Yeah, it's good advice actually, don't buy this. Last, well done. So uh, that was good, we come last here. So let's, uh, let's try and load up Fido. Uh, that's how I did. Yeah, race, race one. There's not gonna be any more races than that, mate. Um, right, let's type in anything. We type in anything, we'll get, yeah, two variable not found. Right? I might list the program for you. That's what you type in if you want a great game like this. Yeah, if you're a coder, this will mean stuff. I understand bits, but not all of it. Um, peak, I never use peak too much. That's like poke, there's peak and poke, wasn't there? Bomb, 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 bomb. Right, load the next bit. And then we're gonna do a bit of editing so Fido loads super quick so we don't have to wait a hundred years. Right, here we go, Fido is loading. I bet you can't wait to see what happens here. It's keyboard or joystick, I'll let you know what you have to do here. You control a yellow dog going backward and forward. Using his tail, he must swipe moles to stop them coming up the ground, here they come. And you'll see the yellow bar is our food and every so often we have to get food or we'll starve to death. So there's me eating food. There, and every time we hit a mole, we get a white cross going from left to right, and we must get a whole line of crosses to get to the next stage. Are you excited? And the jeopardy is, each time a mole digs a molehill, um, if we don't um, flatten them quick enough, you get a molehill appears at the top of the screen, and if they fill up the top of the screen, we're dead. Exciting, eh? More food. So that essentially is the game. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna come out on Xbox One or the PlayStation or PC. Wiggle your tail, top animation, look at that. Is this a full price game? I hope not. Nice house in the background here, but you'd only find games like this, I think, on the ZX Spectrum. Now when the mole goes green, that means he's already, already almost made it to the top. If you see, there's already three mole hills there that have been dug. Come on, come on dog. Yeah, you could be playing this for literally hours, couldn't you? If you were locked in a room. You're not going out ever, you're sensed to play in this. Now the games like this, are bad as they are, they're still all better than Jack and the Beanstalk. I mean, Race Ace weren't great, but I don't think that's supposed to be released. Fido is a little bit more technical. Um, yeah, who thought of this? Well, we'll have a dog, and it'll wiggle its tail to swipe moles uh, on all the time your food's running out. I mean, I think this dog must have worms. He needs to be fed quite quickly. Oh, we're dead. Fido, shall we have another go? Yes. I want to get least off level one. There's my name there, N-I-C-K. High score, 140. So if you're into uh, dog tail wiggling games and been struggling to find one, then look up Fido. And there is another one on this compilation called Fido 2, which I'm presuming is very similar. So, at the moment, this is the best game on the compilation. Race Ace is second. Oh, come on. I think I need to get to a bit, you need to get a bit to the side to swipe these fellas. I don't know why their cross is going across. Perhaps that means moles killed by a, a towel waggling on them. That must be what it is. If you want a, a game where the mole's the hero, try out Monty Mole, those series of games I reviewed, quite a few of those. Although one of them's got a stoat in it as opposed to a mole and that's terrible. But they're, they're even better than this game. Yes. What's your favorite towel wiggling game? It's this, isn't it? It is this. Well, here we go. Uh, how are we doing so far? We, we're playing about eight or so minutes. That's not too bad. I'll have a couple of goes of this, then we'll move on to Weasel Willy. I hope it's as good as uh, Manic Miner, because that had jets that had uh, Miner Willy in it, and then Jet Set Willy. So Weasel Willy must be just as good, yeah? It must be just as good. I don't think Matt Smith was involved in that at all. Um, one good thing I would say about this: the dog's quite a large sprite. His his, his legs are moving a bit independently of each other. But never mind. Do, log, do legs move independently? I suppose they do. Right, concentrate, Nick. Let's get right across here. We can do this thing. Boof. Boof. Right, two done. Two moles. Three moles. Adrian mole. Whoa, whoa. Watch your food. We don't want to run out of food. That mole up the other side can, uh, can go. I mean, we need quite a lot here, don't we? Look at the amount of crosses we need to do to get across. Another one. But as long as we don't run out of food, look, we've, there's already four molehills up the top, that's not clever. Come on, get your act together, doggy. I think one more, well, two more molehills and we're doomed. Take that, yo. Right, that's it. Getting into a bit of a rhythm now. Exciting stuff. 
Boop. Boop. Now I don't really want to spend this long on all the games on the on the uh, on the cassette because otherwise that would take me years. And I want to do it all in one go so we can just remember not to buy this one. Right, come on. No moles are going to go green on my watch. Fido, a good name for a dog. If I owned a dog, I'd probably call him Fido, but I have never owned a dog. I'm more of a cat person. They say you're either a dog or a cat person, but I have known people that own a dog and a cat, and uh, they seem to get on okay. Maybe that's just a random thing, but I think it's more the dog tolerating the cat, to be honest with you, because, uh, um, yeah, cats aren't bothered. Yeah, we've done it. That's a good tune. Dilly -dilly. That lift the game. And now level two's got a bird flying across, it looks. I am presume we can't bump into him. Yeah, so if you're waggling your tail when a bird flies across, you're dead. The bird is a friend of the moles. Yeah, okay, so it's alright to run underneath him, you just can't kill moles on the bird's watch. So yeah, so it's up in it. I don't know how many levels this has got, but this time we're outside a car park. Um, I don't know why there's moles digging next to a multi-story car park. Must be a story there or something. Yeah. What do you think of this game? Is this something you're going to try and get? I mean, I haven't shown you the other three yet, so uh, save your excitement because there might be bigger and better games to come in this. Ooh, I can't wait to see it, Nick, you say. Right, that's the end of Fido. We get out of here and load up Weasel Willy with the power of editing. Right, hang on a minute. Um, list no, load. And I think you've got to type in weasel here, and it'll find it on the tape. Oops, that's not how you spell weasel. Weezek. Oh, man. Uh, right, okay. Spectrum 48k. Right, here we go. Weasel Willy. It took a while to find it on the tape, but here we are. R. Harrington's responsible for this one. Uh, the title screen looks quite good, so that's promising. Could this be better than the last two games? It's a review, but five games in one. Don't buy it. Right, five of the worst games ever. Right, what we got to do here? Do right, Pop Goes the Weasel. There's a couple of good musical tunes in this. Ian Rush is on the scoreboard. Well done, him. Keyboard joystick and redefine. I think we have to um, set the keys first of all. Because they're, they're not preset, so we'll go on keyboards. Uh, QA. Now, this is a maze game, I believe. Uh, so, you have to control this weasel uh, around a, like a single screen grid, and it's just a question of surviving for a length of time without bashing into the wall or any of these green things. So, your trail has to be a certain size. Oh, I've blown it. I bashed into the side there. So, let's just survive as long as you can. Should go into level two. Oh, man! Come on, Nick, get your act together here. Actually, this could get quite addictive, this one. Stay away, right. That's it, so level two. You've got to survive a certain amount of time. So plot your path up, down, left, right. Avoid all the greens, have avoid the walls. Just uh, just stay out of the way. Good, level two done. We're, we're cooking on gas now. See, I think you've got the idea of this game straight away, haven't you? Um, I've got this one ahead of Fido and ahead of Race Ace. They are gradually getting better. Weasel Willy first. Let me know what your order is as we go through. Uh, they might all be joint last, but we're really scraping the barrel here. Of course, getting a bit crowded straight away. Is that supposed to be a weasel? I'm not so sure about that. It looks like some woman delivering custard and she spilt most of it down herself. Um, get a new delivery person. Right, Field 5. Um, right, yeah. Where are we going to go this time? We'll go up there. I think we can go to the right upper top, or we can, might be able to weave through there. Mm. That's it, that must be enough, surely. Next stage? Uh oh. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I bashed into stuff. I quite like this game. <laughs> Funnily enough, in comparison, we'll have, I think we'll have, I think I'll have another go at that, or should I? I don't know. You're, cool, look at the amount of space it leaves you for your name. That's just stupid. Who's got a name that long? I don't want to write a novel. Right, let's space bar all of this out. Oh man, no one's got time for that. I mean, the person with the longest name in the world maybe could put his name in there. Duh, 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 duh. Pop goes the weasel. 
Right, let's just have one last go to knock Ian Rush, Ian Rush off there, and then we'll zip on to the amazing Fido Two. Fido Two, Puppy Power. That says that's a that's was it Scrappy Doo that used to say Puppy Power. Pop goes the weasel. I think um, although these games are bad, I'm sure there's worse games you can find on the, on the spectrum. They're just trying to cover themselves. Now so, they thought the the games are so bad, uh, Firebird Software. Uh, to the point that on the instructions there, the inlay card, they say that prizes will be offered for the best complaint letter they get. Yeah, so that was something, wasn't it? I would have quite enjoyed doing a complaint letter about this. I think I would have won a prize. I wonder what the prize was. If you owned this and sent a complaint letter to Firebird about the game and you got a prize, let me know what the prize was. They seemed to hint it was just badges and stickers, I think, on the inlay. So it wasn't a great thing. So they probably had a whole warehouse of badges and stickers. Um, they're probably best giving them away with the game, to be honest with you. Right, we're flying here. Lives free. What? You think I crashed into anything that time? I've blown it. If you're watching these as they go up, hopefully this has kick-started your weekend for super excitement. Um, yeah. Or it might not have done. It might be hard to recapture the excitement after watching this. Or you might be watching a bit later on in the day and trying to get to sleep and thinking, oh, glad I didn't buy this back in the day. You can trace it. They are, they are downloadable, these games. Um, I downloaded this one from World of Spectrum. Um, just, just type it on the search, don't buy this, and it'll come up. You can look at the games. I think you can download the games individually on here. Or, like me, you could feel the pain and go through all of them. Excellent stuff, sort of, in an ironic way. You could only get away with this sort of stuff in the 8-bit era. You couldn't uh, get away with it any other time. And uh, for that, I love it. I mean, it's too its too much of a risk for uh, makers to make a game like this now, even on an app. How are we doing lives? I've got one live left. I know some of you might be thinking, oh, I'm desperate to play Fido 2. Nick, get to Fido 2. Well, the games are gradually getting better. Some people who are still awake might remember the race ace we played right at the start. We zipped round that track like a mad hoodlum. Uh, that seems so long ago now. What was it, about 10 minutes? Ugh. Look at this place. Are, are they supposed to be trees, I presume? They might be trees. Right, we're getting a big old score here. We're filling up the screen quite well. It's quite responsive. Are you ready? Field 9. Field 9. Who'd have thought it? So if you're into fields and you're into weasels, this is the sort of game you should be looking for. So this compilation uh, caters for weasel lovers, Formula 1 racers, dog tail wigglers, um, you know. And I think there's a fruit machine at the end. Game over. Right, okay. It's time, I think it's time to load Fido 2, isn't it? After we type in a really long name. Yeah, why is this so long? Oops, you, oh, there's no backspace. Okay. Why is this a bit so long? Oh, no backspace. We'll have to spell it wrong. You get the idea. Why is this thing so slipong? Question mark. Right. Right, I'm top. Well, almost. Yeah, I'm top of the leaderboard there. Right, get a bit of loading going on. Bit of loading. Fido 2 Puppy Power. So let's see how advanced this is over the original Fido, which you remember is one of the greatest games ever, uh, literally about 10 minutes ago. Fido 2 The Revenge Puppy Power. It looks similar. Here's the dog. Oh, but there's something falling down the middle this time. I think that's I, th mm, I think that's food of some description. Right, moles are coming up as before. Food's going down as before. Oh, and you got your tongue. You can zip out your tongue. Right, so here we go then. Food drops down the middle, you get that with your tongue, and at the same time you have to knock the moles. And if the food lands on your head, which looks like a looks like a man with a big nose, you're dead. Yeah, I don't know how they've done it, but they've taken a bad game and made it even worse. I didn't think that was possible. The the uh, the animation of the dog is the same. How have they made this worse? They've t they've made it not playable. Uh, big graphics. It's not playable anymore. And why is the bar white? I preferred it when it was yellow. There's the do there's the tail wiggling bit. Yeah. No, I don't like this. Oh man, this makes Fido One look brilliant. 
Oh dear. So it was, a, it was a bad original game, let's be honest with you, and it's a terrible second game. Uh, has anyone tempted to buy this yet? As I say, £2.50 originally, we're dead already, and then £1.99 bargain. So that, that was about just about less than 40p a game. I, I still feel overcharged. Back in the, the those days, you could get a portion of chips for 40p. I prefer that. Right, we've got to have another go. We've got to have another go. Have we? Why have we got to have another go? Why are, we, why are we putting all these rules on ourselves? We haven't got to have another go. We can just load up the fruit machine at any point. Right, okay. So this is the first drop in quality from the bad quality. You might disagree, you might think it's the best. What's that backdrop? It's like in prison or something. I'd rather be in prison than play this thing. Although it does look like there's holes in the wall that maybe you can escape from. Right, same thing again. We've got to get those crosses right across the other side. Um, yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, this is much more difficult than the original game. But a lot of it is this, well, it's the same, isn't it? Apart from that thing falling down, which it doesn't even look like food. What is it? It's some sort of alien thing. But we can eat it, though, and the dog doesn't seem to mind. Maybe it's Goldie off Blue Peter back in that era. We need less crosses this time. Then we've done it. Right, what's the next screen? We're outside some post office. Where's that? And this time there's anchors dropping down. What? That doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, there's two of them. Oh, let's get out of here. Just die, Fido. What a bad, annoying game. Annoying, 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 annoying. Oh, man. Five of the worst games ever. I'm not sure this had a sequel, really. Don't buy this too. Don't buy this, this the Super Nincompoop version. Right, come on. Maybe we, can, we haven't got any moles yet. These... That's impossible to get to. Just keeps generating, but there's no way I can get to those moles. Ah oh, man, this game sucks. This game sucks more than the most powerful of vacuum cleaners. And I presume that's a tongue, is it? Or is it just him firing something? Right, that's him over. Let's load up the last game, uh, Fruit Machine. Excellent. Is it? Maybe not. Um, right. List, no, it's on the J button. No, no, not the K, J, right. Load fruity, I need to type in here, according to this thing. Right, edit the load times. Right, we're off. Um, I'm, I don't really play fruit machines when I'm out. I never really have done. I see the hold buttons and nudge buttons and it's all like a foreign language to me. I don't really know how to play them, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So this is the fifth game in Don't Buy This. Uh, the other four were pretty ropey, especially Fido 2. My favourite one so far is Weasel Willy. And um, yes, alright for a laugh, uh, but um, the laugh soon ends after probably about, don't know, how long have I been playing this? About 20 minutes. Right. It does have some good tunes hidden in there though. Right, what we need to do, put money in, and then we can hold the buttons. Let's hold those. I don't know. It's a one-armed bandit, so it all should have spin round and hopefully I hit the jackpot and then we get out of here. Duh, 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 duh. Um, I don't know how many other fruit machine games there were on the ZX Spectrum, but it doesn't really lend itself too much. Free, free, um, are they pound signs? Are they supposed to be pound signs, those? Or maybe they're euros, but euros weren't invented yet. Come on, please get the jackpot. Cherries, a horseshoe, uh, two bells. Um, yeah, that's nothing. Press a key to insert coin, right? We've got 80p left. You can have a great night out with 80p, but now we're down to 70p. Hopefully I get mugged and uh, we can go home. Um, oh man, let me out of here. I mean, that's scrolling round quite well, but a fruit machine just doesn't lend itself to be a very good game, does it? You might disagree. But, um, you, yeah, you might be wrong on this occasion. <laughs> this channel's all about different opinions. We don't, we don't always agree. Sometimes I like a game, sometimes you hate a game, and vice versa. And quite often you've got other knowledge for me and stuff I didn't know before. So it's all about community, bit of forum. Um, no one gets shouted down. Um, that's the way it should be, I think. 
Retro should be relaxing, bring everyone together, share memories. Hooray! Um, I, I don't think we should be sharing this memory, should we? This is a memory we need to get rid of. So I think we've seen all the games here. What's your favourite one of this set, or do you like none of them? I mean, Race Ace was quite boring, although you could put it up at a sp uh, higher speed, but it was flawed overtaking. Oh, Nudge, what do we have to do here? Nudge one. What does that mean? You've won 20p. I want to gamble that. Gamble. What does that mean? Right. Right, there's flashing here. We need to get it on 30p, do we? Gamble it for 30p. I think we lost. Okay. Yeah, so what's, we've looked at Race Ace, which was quite slow, as I say. There was Fido, that tail wiggling game. I uh, don't know what was going on there. That was mental. Then Weasel Willy, which which I thought was the best one, to be honest. Um, it's quite clever, going around a maze for a certain amount of time, so that's quite basic. Then Fido 2, Puppy Power, more tail wiggling, and it was worse than the first game, and pointless, and too hard. And now this fruit machine, which I don't understand. Did we just win money again? We got three watermelons and a horseshoe. So I need to, I need to hold one, three, and four, don't I? Is that what you do? I'm not sure what I'm doing here. If I hold one, three, and four, I just need to spin the horseshoe round. When it's flashing, does that mean it's held, or is that the one not flashing's held? Uh, oh, look that. <laughs> I done that 100% wrong. I spun the ones I didn't want to spin. So, if it's flashing, that means it, that means it isn't held. Curses. Oh, look. Three bars. That means nothing. No money for that? No. Well, I don't think I'm going to get rich doing this. This game was in Las Vegas. I don't think I'll be there playing it. I don't think I'll be playing it anywhere. Bib, 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 bib. So it takes a while to load all this stuff. Uh, is it well worth waiting to load it? Um, no. I suppose it was only a matter of time. So whoever recommended this game, I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was one or two of you, but it's been on the list for quite some time. Maybe over a year and a half. But here it is. So I hope you're enjoying seeing this. Brilliant. Well done, sir, or madam. It's excellent game. I might be lying. It's not an excellent game, is it? It's five It's five mediocre, silly games, but they're nice to see. I like the 8-bit world, and uh, it wouldn't be the 8-bit world, Spectrum world, without these sort of things. Um, did this compilation come out on any other 8-bit system, the Amstrad CPC or the Commodore 64? Let me know. I'll be surprised, but um, I've been surprised before, and I'm sure I'll be surprised again. You have 0p. Good. Well, that means we're out here then, doesn't it? Good stuff. Yeah. I hope you like to have a look at that compilation. Compilation. We somehow got through it. Um, we've got a gamble here, have we? Didn't notice that. But well, anyway, we've lost our money. Somehow we got through it. That was Don't Buy This, otherwise known as Five of the Worst Games Ever, published by Fiber Software in 1985. A Race Ace, Fido, Weasel Willy, Fido 2, Puppy Power, and Fruit Machine. If you've got any comments about these games, any other games, or anything similar, or anything retro, then please put your thoughts below. Always love hearing from you and your ideas. If you haven't already, um, and you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel, because that's a huge, huge help. If you want to help it that bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. I'm really appreciative of any support that you can provide. Until next time, take great care of yourself, don't have nightmares, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.